The first simple thing we'll take a look at is the login process to Starfish. The Starfish application sits off of the faculty and staff web page, which is off the main Mitchell College web page. To access that page, just review, click on the faculty and staff tab, upper left-hand corner of the main Mitchell web page. You'll then be on the main faculty and staff page and with all the respective icons and for other applications that you can access from that page, you want to scroll down to the bottom of that page and look for the Starfish icon. Once there, click on the Starfish icon. You'll then be brought to the login page for Starfish. In the username area, you'll want to enter in the same username as you do when logging onto a computer while on Mitchell College campus. In this case, it will be your last name, underscore first letter of your first name, and your password will be the same. Again, password you use when logging onto a computer while on the Mitchell College campus. When done, click on the login. Once you've clicked on login, if you haven't logged into Starfish in the past, you'll be brought to an office hours setup wizard screen. Uh, this is where you can uh, quickly set up some office hours that will be available for you, to your students to use. But at this point, I would recommend you wait uh, doing that as we'll get into another area within Starfish that I think is a bit easier to set up office hours. At this point, click on the Home tab. You're now at the main dashboard area of the Starfish application. And on this main dashboard, you'll see you have an area for appointments. And in this case, these are appointments where students have um, actually made a request of you for an appointment. And those are office hour appointments that you may have set up. Uh, at the same time, this area would contain appointments that uh, you have requested of the students. Recent changes, and this would be tied to either flags, kudos, or, or appointments that have occurred with the students. And these are activities that you have um, initiated. And then lastly, flags that you might be managing. And these are flags that you have raised uh, that are tied to specific um, issues or concerns you may have with students. We'll go over these particular areas a little bit later on in the, the latter part of the video tutorial. But on the top bar here of the dashboard, you see you've got your home button, where that's where we are right now. You also have an appointments area, and this is where we'll be able to view uh, very much of a calendar view of uh, daily activities. You've got students. This is where you're going to have a chance to see all the students that um, are either within your classes or students that you might be advising. And also, we'll go over some attendance information that's now being posted for the students. All the student information is being fed from our Blackboard student information system, uh, which is up to date. And um, basically, it, it refreshes on a 24-hour basis. And then lastly, we have a services tab. And on the services tab, we've gone ahead and put in information with regards to academic uh, and student services that the student has access to and also the faculty has access to. Uh, as you can see here, we have a listing of career services. We also have some listing and contact information for the Duquesne Academic Center, Health and Wellness. And we've gone ahead to, to put a listing of our, um, our tutors and the specific areas that they support our students with. If you go back to the Home tab, it takes you back to the Home area, again, our dashboard, and uh, we'll now proceed forward with some advanced application areas of Starfish.